have responded to your own uh, situation, but you and I are friends. We've been very proud of you, and uh, you have represented this church very well. So we're very thankful for you, and, uh, and a good example that you've been. I just kind of wanted you to give us a little background on yourself. Uh, tell us about your early life. Now, you're 15 years of age now, and where do you go to school right now? He's a Christian.
probably true now. Let me ask you something later. You, you've been involved in the cause of uh, arthritis, trying to raise money. Could you tell us a little something about that? And what you're doing there, uh, tell us about your media appearance. <laughs> Um, when I went to the hospital the first time, I met a mom whose daughter was 18 and had, had arthritis since she was 16. She was a runner and she was experiencing pain in her hips and knees. And she stopped running and then she couldn't run again. She had to get a physical therapy and she still can't run to this day. And I was like, Mom, I really want to do a run for her. And so I found the Jingle Bell Run which is the run that the Arthritis Foundation like, puts on to raise money for arthritis awareness and for like, medicine to help us. And I did it in honor of her. And on the way of doing that, I raised a little bit of money. And then I met the director, whose name is Lisa Hemphill. And she was really inspired by my story. And she asked my mom if I could be the 2013 Junior Honoree. That means that you have to go on TV and go speak everywhere and all kinds of fun, fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really one for public appearances. I get nervous and I had to speak every day of the week on television last week and it was scary. <laughs> It was probably the scariest thing I've ever done, but with the help of God and coffee, I got through it. <laughs> <laughs>